guests. Hope you're having fun. I am. The heart center, your egoic nature, your will power. Those of us with undefined hearts are continually inside of our head about ourselves, trying to prove or improve ourselves. So when the mind's story says, you must, you should deliver on this promise, be the best, be courageous, be in charge or in control, then you know if you make a decision because of that energy without being activated according to your design, then most likely you're going to find yourself deep in the throes of frustration, anger, bitterness, disappointment. Okay. So that's always going to be your guiding light, your signpost. It's not a bad thing that we have these signposts of resistance. They're precious, valuable gifts. They're so valuable. I would never get rid of my um, resistance signpost. It shows me where I have mistakenly gone off track. The resistance shows from the definition in the design. That is what is creating the bitterness as an example for me as a projector, for you as a, as a generator. Frustration is showing you that your design is not designed to walk down that path. So can you let it go? Trying to prove, trying to improve? And what is the wisdom potential when we flip it on its ear? How can we know what to sell here? Ah, well, we're selling proof and improvement. Did you know? I've got proof for you with regards to my business. I could show you my bank account. I do not want to gather that kind of jealousy. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. The wisdom of overcompensation, control, shock, egoism, aloneness, and selling proof and improvement. These are the ways to prove or improve yourself or others. That's one of the things that I sell personally. As far as, you know, stop doing that not self thing. That's not very good for you. Instead, let us take a journey into the realms of being yourself. That's my joy. That's my gift to help people, guide people. Because I've walked this path as well. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Not at all. I'm not saying that my mind still doesn't go blah, 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 blah. But it does have less power over me. Now in red, you're going to see the line values that are our money lines, our money lines, all the third lines are the ways to make money. Now, if we look at Levina's human design, I've got a 21 in that heart center. The I Ching name is biting through. This is the hunter or huntress in my design. What I value, because this is my Venus. And this is what my standard is for relating. What I value is the justified and necessary use of power in overcoming deliberate and persistent interference. This is part of what I give to others because this is part of my design. It is part of what I give my wisdom about that third line process, which is about being powerless, powerlessness where the just are condemned to a futile confrontation with superior forces. Unless one follows one own, one's own material path, the breaking of the ego by superiors. Money line, hey, work for yourself in service to the community. Work for yourself, fellow 21 line threes. Okay, 21st, 21st trait, third quality. It is always very important that you find a way to be an independent contractor if you cannot work all by your lonesome. It is really, really critical and important that you work for yourself if you are 21-3. I tested this. I validated it. I have banged my head against people who had more power <laughs> and it doesn't work. It's better if you can do your own thing in your own way. And so that's one of the things that you get from me. How can you be an entrepreneur using human design? Because that's my specialty. This is what I value in relating to others, helping them find their own material path forward. It is part of the channel of money. It is the end of the stream of capitalism. So how can we implement this beautiful, gorgeous human design system in our lives to have more material success? Hi, I'm here to sell you on that. That's what I do. Okay. 
So now solar plexus, the emotional wave. We know that 49% approximately are avoiding confrontation and truth. And what happens here is that you are learning wisdom about what feels pleasurable. This is the pain and pleasure principle here. Pain for some people feels pleasurable. Oh, let's not go there, Lavina. Okay. So when it comes to making money, this is about how can you feel pleasure, the fulfillment of desire, passion, and need. In other words, selling experiences through emotion. The wisdom of the emotional intelligence is about fate, spirit, revolution, conflict, friendship, grace, crisis. And in the fulfillment of our desire, passion, and need, you can make money through resignation, innocence, popular discontent, allegiance, even-handedness, the enchanter, and transition. If you have a trait here in an undefined solar plexus, then you have a wisdom potential about how to find the pleasure in the fulfillment of a need, passion, or desire. Those of you who know the streams of awareness will know why I'm saying what I'm saying and what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, if we go look at the throat center, the throat center, which is about manifestation, metamorphosis, communication, action, speech. This is about the wisdom of trying to attract attention. We know the not self will try to attract attention, but the wisdom of what it takes to reach stardom. Look at the beautifully, gorgeously undefined throats of people like, you know, Celine Dion as an example, totally open throat, knowing when and how to attract attention through your authority process, not through your mind saying, I must attract attention, open your mouth and now, you know, get them to see me. Nope. It's not about that. It's about the wisdom of contributing or being of influence or expressing the now, identifying with skills, with the details, assimilating and explaining, stimulating other people through beliefs, making progress, encouraging progress, having caution, being a gatherer, being someone who retreats, all of those traits. If you have a trait here in an undefined function, this is one of your profit potentials. Now, what are we selling? This is how you attract attention, how to communicate, how to manifest, how to have the metamorphosis you're looking for. Those of you with the undefined throat, you know, you're really good at knowing when there's an elephant in the room that has yet to be said. You're really good at knowing how to say things quite succinctly. Have you noticed? When you're asked, when you're initiated by others, by life, it is really brilliant, that throat of yours. Now, the third line ways, the phony, selectivity, self-awareness, independence, discovery, individuality, alienation, collaboration, confession, exclusion, and spirit. The third line way, that is the material way, the profiting potential. In the splenic center, we have the immune system, which is about our intuition, our well-being, our body's innate physical intelligence health, safety, security. What we have with an undefined splenic center is that we have people who are holding on to what isn't good for them. So what is the wisdom of the survival intelligence, the survival instincts, knowing what is worth holding on to, what makes a difference in your health, safety, security, and well-being? We have two kinds of healers on this planet. We have those who are defined, my husband, literally can put health in other people with his energy. We have those who are undefined. Hi, that's me. Literally knows the wisdom potential of what brings health, safety, security, well-being. Okay, so in the function, we have correction, risk-taking, what can endure, values, alertness, intuition, and depth, all potential profits, ways of profiting. Okay, your specific way is going to be shown by the trait that is there or not. And I'll have to explain that individually with each chart. Selling health, healing, well-being, physical well-being. This is how you can ensure your survival. It doesn't have to be about being a doctor or any kind of healer. It is about how do we ensure our survival? Well, we have people who are zealots, adventurism, 
have a lack of continuity, adaptability, interference, acuteness, and going incommunicado. Those are those material ways of profiting. Next, we have the Ajna Center. Ooh, one of my favorite. The Ajna about conceptualizing, pretending that you are mentally certain. The wisdom here of conceptualization is about certainty. Who out there is really certain? You know, Ra, gosh, that man was very certain. When he was certain, he was certain. He was certain. Formalization rationalization, realization, opinions, insights, ideas. These are all concepts that you can gauge or judge and be wise about passing on or not. Here's the concepts you can be sure of, of as far as your wisdom potential. Irresponsibility, the addict, self-oppression, understanding, expediency, the realist. Those are all the third line material money-making lines. Okay money receptors, whatever you have there. Now, I don't have anything in this function with regards to a planet. But when you look down at your body graph and you see a function, a center completely open, this is your PhD life for that function. Hi, that's me. Yay. No wonder I like learning things so much. You know, with regards to other people's systems, Oh, this person, he's certain. <laughs> this is what you can experiment with because Ross said he's certain. This is not my system. I just re-explain it in my own way. Yeah? So I'm making money. <laughs> Ross said that <laughs> projectors would be making money off of him long after he was gone. Hi, thanks, Ra. Really, really appreciate you getting things started for us. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so loyal to the source because when you take the source material and you actually validate it and test it for yourself, yourself, you can see how well it works for you when you're operating in alignment. Okay, head center, inspiration function. 70% of the population are open. This is the largest profit potential we have. These are people who are occupied with questions that do not matter to them, which is a waste of time and energy. So what is the wisdom potential? Well, what is truly inspiration? Oh, this right here, I'm so inspired. <laughs> I have a 61 up here. Personally, for me, human design is truly inspiring. I sell inspiration about the mysteries in life because this is one of my profit potentials, literally, quite literally. It's the wisdom of what is inspiring. What brings mental pressure? The questions that are confusing or mysterious or bring doubt. So the inner truth, the solutions to those mysteries, those questions that you're pondering and you're stressing out about maybe because you're so pressured. This is about continu continuance, interdependence, and overextension with regards to the third line way. So here we are. Hi, that's me. I have the gate of mystery in my conscious driving force, my moon. The I Ching name is called inner truth the awareness of universal underlying principles. The money line that I have as my conscious focus is interdependence, learning about how it is exceedingly difficult for truth to stand alone. And when I'm with someone collaborating with them, there is a pressure to know enhanced through that very collaboration. So what happens with me and my conscious focus is that I'm driven to help you find your truth. This is my third line quality that is one of my material success potentials because I have it, because it's there in my genetics. So one of the reasons why I teach the way that I do and why I like live classes, clinics to work with people's charts. All right, next we have the root center. This is our drive and stamina function where there's a pressure and a stress here. And what happens when you're undefined is that you're always in a hurry to be free of that stress and pressure. There's a little voice inside of your head that says, faster, faster, faster. Hurry up. You can't afford to wait. You've got to get it done. You know, but it's like <laughs> you're the person at the office where everybody gives their, you their work, you know, and it's piling up on your desk and you can get it done faster than everybody else because you want to get out of that pressure. But it's like a, a toilet tank that has just been flushed. It fills right back up again. The pressure fills right back up again. So what is the wisdom potential of drive and stamina, this physical pressure? 
It's selling freedom from pressure and stress. Okay. The wisdom potential, because you've been dealing with that your whole life. This is about contraction, provocation, inaction, limitation, beginnings, ambition, being the fighter and vitality. So you teach, this is what you do to be free from stress through efficiency, responsibility, dedication, controls, conservatism, practicality, covert interaction, alliance, and electricity. Each one of those immense profit potentials in alignment. Okay, let's go look. What happened to my image? There it is, the sacral. The generating response ability of the builder Actually here, with it open, we are not builders, but approximately 30% open. What happens with an undefined sacral center, the energy resource function, is that you never know when enough is enough. You never know because you overdo it. You're overzealous. So what the wisdom of this energy resource and reproduction, reproduction function is, is selling when and how to quit or how to have boundaries. This is how you know when enough is enough. Back in the day when I first started teaching human design, I can remember my body would give me this sign of this burning sensation on the back of my uh, sacrum and my whole body, it would feel like a jet airplane slowing down, like just this and I'd have to go and lay down. As a non-energy type, especially projector, but anybody who's non-sacral, Hitting the wall like that is too much. It's, it's the boundary. You should not come at anywhere near that boundary. There we go. Nowhere near that boundary. It is very unhealthy to get right up to that boundary. So building in work breaks, being able to hold back and conserve your energy, be miserly with your energy through ordering focus, sexuality, perseverance, power skills, fixed patterns, power, caring, and growth, or being, bringing things to a close, endings. So how you know when enough is enough are going to be different to each individual. But one of the things that you can guide other people to do is about when to quit. So many people keep super slaving away at jobs that they hate because they can't see any way out. And they're afraid to follow their, whatever their authoritative process is, their knowing into a new experience because they're scared. How can we stop? How can we quit slaving away at jobs that we hate? Each of us has to find our own way. The material potential here, survival, the straw that breaks the camel's back, openness, evaluation, service, compulsiveness, greed, trial and error. Those third line ways are ways that are going to be profitable in guiding others to quit. Okay, so there we go. This is my design again. And here is my conscious personality earth in the trait of perseverance. This is what is grounding for me. The I Ching name is called the abysmal, the deep within the deep. Persistence, despite difficulties, has its inevitable rewards. I remember the very first IHDS certified professional I had a reading with. She said very simply, commitment is grounding for you. That is my grounding of my personality construct in this life. As far as how I make money is evaluation. In this context, it's about properly assessed inaction, the power of caution, the power to wait. So here I am as a contagion, my life's work, infecting you with my mind's process of coming to recognitions and realizations of you've got to quit saying yes to those things that don't bring you joy, that don't bring you satisfaction, that don't bring you success, that don't bring you peace. If you are constantly saying yes to the things that are frustrating for you, angry making about you, bitter making about you, I'm talking about people too, disappointing to you. If you constantly chase after those things, you're just going to get more of the same. So quit saying yes. 
quit doing things just for the money. And do things because it brings you alive inside. The thing that makes you feel vibrant and vital and energized. Those are the things we need to be doing now at this time of limitation. Okay, let's go to the G, the identity, love and direction, the higher self, we could say. We're looking at people with about half of the population, approximately people who are looking around trying to find love and direction, their identity in the lives of others. So the wisdom potential here is about selling direction and love. If you are undefined in the G center, you are somebody who has an ability to reflect or mirror who the other person is. Some of us more than others. Okay, depending on everything else in context of the design. This is the wisdom of being in alignment with the higher self. The wisdom of roles. Instead of being confused by what role should I play, being wise about what other people do with their lives, how they live their lives. So you could say this is the way that you find love and direction in your life. Another way I describe it, for those of you with undefined G-centers in my classes, you'll have remembered me saying this, you're a course corrector. Okay, through creative self-expression, being a listener, innocence, determination, direction of the self, extremes, behavior of the self, and role of the self, this is the way you can course correct to help people find a higher calling, higher perspective, a higher love, a higher direction. Now, the profit potentials are about the energy to sustain creative work, being pessimistic, sensibility, projection, patience, ego inflation, being the martyr or being an anarchist. Those are our profit, profiting potentials, our line values there. Okay. I see that my screen is frozen and I am not sure why that is happening. So I'm just going to check in with everybody who's here. I see there's about Oh, let's say 30 between all that's watching. Oh my gosh, no more. There's 18 on YouTube. I see that we have a question. So we'll go to questions. Jean is saying, if one only has one money line, a third line, in all of the activations, and it is Saturn at his or her defined center, is there still any profit potential? Really good question. Let me see if my, uh, here we go. Okay. So that is a very specific, I'll make it even easier on everybody and put it way more general. You see how in my design, I've got a 41.3 down here and I've got a 33 up here, 30.3. Okay, those are third qualities. They're in defined functions. So what that means is naturally my material way is to use my imagination to make money. But that is something that is fixed. It's locked in. It's not th something that I can change. You know, I've got life aspects, planetary activations as part of what I be in this world. So the third line is where the material plane is. It is, that's why we have bonds made and broken, banging into things. I mean, this is a physical material line. The third line is the material line. It is the material line. And we have the material way over here. So little secret, I've got some third lines. Yes. So I'm a very lucky person. Absolutely. Got Jupiter in one of my functions. Very, very lucky as far as well, we could say, you know, been able to luckily for me, let go of the mind. This is about disassociation here and disassociate from the past experiences, the past uh, lives of, of downtroddenness and come to a place of calm or tranquility, equanimity, rather than being completely off kilter, off track. So even if this wasn't the case, that I didn't have all these three lines, if I'm looking at a body graph, it doesn't matter what life aspect it is, wherever that life aspect is, if it's in an undefined function, that is still a natural money receptor. Why? Because we're making money in the openness. This is where we 
learn about life. This is where we sell people on things. Okay, wherever we have undefined functions, that is a profit center. Now that leads me to the question of, okay, but what happens if all of my centers are defined, Lavina? Okay, then we get to go to what's the connector traits between the aspects of your design. And that's where I would read. Okay, so I hope that that one makes sense. Let's see if my, nope. Oh, yay, it's working. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I love it when things work. Okay, so that was my profit potential introduction. Now, as far as coaching is concerned, in order for you to be able to use this information in your life, I would love to let you know that I do have a process of using the BG5 Career and Business Consulting plus the profit potential, potential of your profit centers and money lines in aligning to your business by design. So I call them Human Design Profit Potential Clinics and the program itself is your business by design right now. And what I do is I help you discover your own material way so that you can profit by being yourself and it's coaching, it's clinics basically, clinics. Going through the body graph methodically step by step it's education specific to not only your career design type, but your chart itself in an exploration of your personal life work, your career design with customized presentations of your own career design in an analysis format with small groups in analysis clinics, which I really, really love. Today, we're getting started with one more group. We have three people that are absolutely confirmed, if I'm not mistaken, and I will only take three more. It includes follow-up action steps, a private forum, support, and also it includes a personalized BG5 Career Design Profit Potential Analysis that will be co-created with you over the times, the clinics that we're moving through. So basically, it's like finding your own secret treasure map so that you can sign up to be aligned to your own design and improve your bottom line in the most fulfilling way possible to your most productive profit potential. As a certified BG5 Profit Potential instructor and professional myself, I'm really delighted to see that you're all very interested in this. 